Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria, if you're new here, and today's yoga practice is a nice, simple, and quick little flow to check in with yourself. This is a great one to practice right at the start of your day or any time throughout the day when you need a little pause, a little break to recenter, to come back inside and notice what's going on with your emotional and physical and mental states. So all that you'll need for this class is yourself and some place to move. And whenever you're ready, let's get into it. We'll start just by finding a comfortable seat. So you can be in Sukhasana like this. If it's more comfortable to sit up on your knees, that's a great option too. Go ahead and ground your palms down to your thighs. Let your shoulders fall down your back and softly close your eyes. Take a moment here to allow your body to soften. Drop anything that's happened in your day so far. Let your sitting bones anchor you deeply to the earth beneath you as if you're a plant that's growing deep roots into soil and then stretch up through the crown of your head and beyond like you're a balloon or something buoyantly rising toward the sky. Begin to connect to your breath. Notice how you're breathing. Is the breath shallow? Is it deep? What's the quality like? Is it velvety, smooth? Maybe it's a little more rough or jagged. And so starting from wherever you are without judging, let's all begin to deepen the breath together. See if you can feel into a central column that runs from the root of where you sit all the way through the very center point at the crown of your head and breathe into that space. Let's take a big full inhale through your nose. And a clearing exhale out of your mouth. As you breathe out, feel the breath travel from the crown of your head down to the root of where you sit. So you can drop off anything that you don't need into the earth. Again, breathe in. Big exhale, sigh out of your mouth, soften the shoulders. Continue breathing this way with open mouth exhales if that's comfortable, or you can begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Let the quality of the breath be soothing. Don't be afraid to breathe with sound, breathe audibly. And now take a moment to check in with how you're doing today. So it's like when you ask a friend how they're doing and try to be unattached to whatever answer is there for you. And so however you're showing up to this practice is exactly where you need to be. And let each breath that you take be a new chance to make a new choice. Helping you maybe to shift into a new perspective letting go of what you don't need, and drawing in more of what does serve you. Take one more moment here to ground. And you can keep your eyes closed or you can soften your gaze. We'll take little half rolls with the neck. So bow your chin toward your chest, then drop your right ear down toward your right shoulder. And then roll your head back forward, chin to chest, left ear comes to the left shoulder. We'll go two more times in both directions. Use your breath and feel free to pause if there's anywhere that you're feeling extra kinks. Roll the opposite shoulder down your back as you drop ear to the other shoulder, if that makes sense. Just gently waking up the body, relaxing your mind. And then pause on one side or the other with an ear dropping down toward that shoulder. Stretch your other fingertips off to the side as if you're trying to reach to grab something that's sitting beside you, but it's just a little bit out of reach. The other set of fingertips can sprinkle down beside you, create length in your spine. And switch, roll back through center. Other fingertips reach out beside you, nice and long. 
Breathe more length into the side of your neck that's opening. Let the breath comb through the knots, untangling tension gently. Roll all the way back to center. Take your fingertips back behind your sitting bones. Create like a second spine with both of your arms here. Puff up through your heart space as you draw in at your waist and then lift your gaze all the way up toward the sky, maybe dropping the head back to open the front of your throat. Feel how available the breath becomes here. Feel it swell to the tops of your lungs as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, let it wash away and clear the heart space. One more breath. Gently lift your head. We'll come to hands and knees, tabletop. Take a moment to establish a strong and steady foundation through the palms of your hands. So try to be really sensitive here so that you can feel every little point of connection. All four corners of the palms are rooted and then the finger pads stretching far away from the center of your palms, dig down, claw down into the earth beneath you. Tuck your toes and gently press yourself back to downward facing dog, nice and slow, hips glide high to the sky. Here in down dog, take a couple of shakes of your head. So shake the head no, and nod your head yes. Soften the back of your neck, and then pedal your feet. Bend one knee and try to stretch the opposite heel down toward the earth. It's okay if the heels aren't touching the mat, especially right away. Keep them hovering, and eventually begin to find some steadiness in your downward facing dog. Find that central column through your spine again, and let's take two smooth, steady breaths into that space. So as you inhale, pull the breath up from your hands and your feet through the lines of your arms and your legs all the way up your spine like a big wash to the tip of your tailbone. As you exhale, like a wave that's receding back away from the beach, let the breath travel down your spine. One more inhale here, and exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, hug your front body to your back body, firm your thighs, and round forward to high plank. Stack the shoulders over the wrists. As you exhale, we'll slowly sink the knees down to the mat for three, for two. For one, feel the core engage. As the knees root, take an inhale to pull your hands back toward the fronts of your thighs. Soften your front body and contract your back body. Stretch your heart forward, lift your gaze. As you exhale, shift the shoulders forward of your wrists, bend your elbows deeply, keep your butt high and your toes tucked as you melt your heart and your chin to the mat. Breathe here, pause. Let your heart totally surrender to the earth beneath you. And then untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet down, curl your tailbone down to the backs of your knees, then ripple sequentially through your spine all the way through to a baby cobra. So the heart and the hands are hovering away from the mat. The glutes are engaged, inner thighs are hugging the midline, and the toenails are pressing down to assist in lightening your heart, lifting your heart. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lower all the way down, chest and chin to the mat. Now, step your fingertips to the wide edges of your mat. And as you do so, widen your feet as well. So the feet come a little wider than hips distance apart. Take a breath in, lift your heart, lift your chin, whole front body lifts up away from the mat. Then curl your heels in towards your sitting bones. So the objective here for now is not to connect the back of the head and the toes like a king cobra. Rather, pull your heart forward and just activate your glutes and your hamstrings. See how close you can bring the heels to your sitting bones. Breathe in. Breathe out, release your front body to the mats. Plant your palms, tuck your toes, and we'll come to hands and knees, tabletop. 
from here, kickstand your right shin back behind you so it spins to face toward the long edge of your mat. And then step your left foot back, root the knife edge, and we'll rise all the way up to standing on the right knee. Press your pelvis a little forward. Take an inhale, stretch out past the edges of your fingertips. As you exhale, left palm down to outer thigh, right fingertips reach toward the sky, plug your shoulder into your body, then cinch at your left waist as you expand through your right ribs. Gaze moves inside the elbow crease. Breathe in. Breathe out, rise through center, strong core. Right fingertips stretch all the way out, root your palm, and then left arm goes all the way up to the sky. The hips press forward, inhale. As you exhale, left shoulder hugs to the body, then stretch past the edges of your fingertips as you draw your arm all the way over your head. Big long line from outer edge, knife edge of left foot. Press it down more firmly to feel that line extending through the left middle finger. Breathe in. Breathe out, float your left toes away from the mat. Kick your heel in towards your sitting bone and then reach to grab for the foot from the outside, the top of the foot. Once you create that connection, you can begin to stretch your heart forward to the top of your mat as you press foot to hand and hand to foot. There's a little magnetization here between your inner thighs, hugging the midline, lift your pelvic floor. And exhale, release. We'll circle all the way back down to hands and knees, tabletop. Take an inhale, tuck your toes, lift your heart forward like a cow. As you exhale, we'll press back downward facing dog, the hips glide high. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose, press down between thumbs and index fingers. Inhale, lift your heels, ripple like a wave forward to high plank. Exhale, keep your core contracted. We'll lower the knees for three, for two, for one. As the knees touch down, breathe in. Lift your heart, lift your tailbone, sitting bones wide and stretch them away from each other. Broad collarbones and exhale, bend the elbows, heart and chin come down. Just pause, just breathe. Take some of the weight out of your hands so that your heart can really surrender. Soften your hip creases and the fronts of your thighs. Untuck your toes, press down, ripple forward, all the way to a baby cobra. So the heart is buoyant, shoulder blades squeeze together. Now imagine that there's a string connected to the base of your heart that's being pulled forward and lifted slightly higher. Inhale. And exhale, lower down chest, hands, chin. Fingertips step out to the wide edges of your mat. Let your feet come a little wider. As you breathe in, rise up to a cobra. Again, shoulder blades plug together at the back of your heart, so the biceps start to spin forward and your triceps are wrapping back. Grip the mat with your fingertips and then traction your fingers back towards your hip bones to curl your thoracic spine more forward. Keeping all of this, draw your heels in towards your sitting bones. Big front body expansion. Maybe you're feeling a stretch into the fronts of your thighs here too. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower all the way down, heart to the mat. Plant your palms and we'll press up to hands and knees, tabletop. And now this time we'll spin the left shin back behind you, kick, stand your leg, right leg stretches to the back of your mat and the knife edge roots down. As you inhale, press down to rise up to standing on the left knee. I'm gonna pivot to face you. So arms go wide, breathe in. And breathe out, right fingertips come down, left fingertips stretch all the way up and over. Press your pelvis a little more forward, draw your shoulder down your back, hug your left bicep to your ear, then reach your gaze for the sky. Inhale. Exhale, rise through center. As you breathe in, left fingertips stretch forward, drop your palm down to the earth and reach your right arm all the way up overhead, the knife edge, the pinky toe side of right foot's rooting. 
Then breathe in and expand, stretch out, reach the right arm all the way over your ear. One more inhale, contract left side body, expand the right side. As you exhale, float your right toes away from the mat, kick your heel in towards your sitting bone, reach to grab for the top of your foot with your hand, then begin to stretch out. So your heart is shining forward to the top of your mat and your toes are stretching long and back behind you. You can imagine that the back of your head and your toes are magnetized here, but avoid creating any crunching in your low back. If you're feeling that, can you initiate more length in the front and back bodies by pulling up from pelvic floor to sternum? Inhale. Exhale, release everything back down, hands and knees, tabletop. In tabletop, curl your toes under. Take a breath in to stretch your heart to the top of your mat, lift your tailbone. And as you exhale, we'll press back, downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose. Let's take a sigh out of your mouth. Keep the feet where they are. Walk the palms all the way back to your feet at the back of your mat. We'll take Pada Hastasana. So lift your feet away from the earth, coming just to your heels. Then slide your palms under your feet. Palms of hands and soles of feet come to connect. Then you can drop down like a ragdoll fold. So the full torso is surrendering. Shake out your head. Really massage the breath up and down your spine. See if you can become totally immersed in the breath massage, in the sensations of breath, traveling through your spine, untangling knots, slowly releasing any tension. You can wiggle your toes to massage your wrist creases. And we'll be here for a couple more rounds of breath. Lift your toes, release your hands. Widen your feet slightly and then sink your hips down between your heels for malasana, a little squat. Palms can come together at your heart center and feel free to play here. So maybe take one elbow to the inside of the knee, open your heart to the sky and then gently switch, just flowing side to side. Another option is to root your fingertips and crawl them all the way forward, rounding in, creating release into your back, your spine, between your shoulders. We'll come down to a seat. So Make your way to hands and knees or however you'd like to get there. And then we'll lie down onto our backs. Fingers forward, slow roll down for five, for four, three, two, and one. Relax the shoulders, the head, everything releases. Left toes go forward to the top of your mat. Hug your right knee into your chest, then Stretch the sole of your foot up toward the sky. We could grab for the shin, maybe the ankle, maybe the outer edge of your right foot, and we'll find half happy baby. So the right knee draws to the outside of your rib cage. And try to feel as though you're hugging in from your knee to your torso here. So the inner thigh is like wrapping around your ribs. And then allow the left thigh bone to stay really heavy, really anchored to the earth. You can picture that there's like a sandbag or a brick or something that's holding your leg down. And then smooth the breath. If it feels good, close down your eyes. Feel a little press of your right foot into your hands, but then press your hand back into your foot, creating more traction, more of an active stretch. Last breath here, totally surrendering your right knee to the earth. And good. 
Stretch your right toes back up toward the sky. Grab for the outer edge of your leg with your left hand, maybe the calf, the ankle, or the foot. And we'll take a twist holding on to the leg here. So try to keep the right leg straight or straight-ish. If that's uncomfortable, just find a more traditional supine twist. Right arm stretches out to the side. You can stay here. Or if it's available, kick your bottom heel, left heel in, and then grab for the top of your foot with your hand, becoming all wrapped up, all twisted. Feel the outer line of your right leg stretching out, elongating. Feel your head and your shoulders get heavy and weighted to the earth. Try to drop, let go of anything that doesn't need to be active here, especially the face, the jaw, the scalp, the sinuses, even your ears. And gently release and roll back through center. Squeeze the right knee into the chest one more time and then stretch your toes forward as you hug the left knee in. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, stretch your leg towards straight, left foot stamps toward the sky. Grab for what's accessible and then bend your knee deeply, drawing the outer, drawing the inner thigh to your outer left ribs. And really feel your breath elongating, deep, full inhalations and slow, controlled, directed exhalations right to the core of what you're feeling. Last breath, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Stretch your leg back up toward the sky and then grab for the outside of the leg, wherever that's available. Open your left arm to a T, then cross the midline of your body, stacking the left hip on top of the right. And find your twist here. You can readjust so that you can fully surrender, especially the left shoulder, down to the earth. Stay or kick your bottom heel in. Create a connection with your hands. And just breathe. Breathe through all of the stretchy sensations that you're feeling. Open your heart. Massage the lines of your legs. You can release your grip, roll back to center, hug the left knee into your chest, and then we'll bring the right knee in to meet it. As you breathe in, contract your core and curl into a tight hug. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Draw your knee to your nose. And then as you exhale, find Shavasana, corpse pose. Stretch your toes to the corners of your mat. Allow them to fall open. And then bring your palms to face up toward the sky, softening. Now imagine here that you're made, your body is made of millions, billions of little grains of sand and that you've been poured into a glass of water and slowly all the granules are settling down to the bottom, finding heaviness, surrendering to gravity. All you have to do is rest and drop and let everything go.
And you can keep resting in Shavasana as long as you have time. If you're ready to move into your day, begin to deepen your breath. And as you do so, start to notice your sensations. Maybe you feel a little like buzzy, kind of natural high through your full body from your movement. Or maybe the mind feels a bit clearer than when we began. Or maybe you just feel more connected to what you're feeling. Maybe it was difficult to access at the beginning of the practice. And now it's become more obvious. On your next inhale, stretch out into a long body stretch. Arms back, toes forward, breathe in. And breathe out and roll to fetal pose. Either side, relax your head down, drop your palms to the earth. Now leave anything that you don't need for the rest of your day here. Let it settle into the earth. Then press up and out of those things, rising to a seat. As you do so, try to keep your eyes closed so that you can stay in this cozy internal space, like when you stay in bed just a few minutes longer in the morning. Bring your palms now to face up on your thighs in Sukhasana, sitting bones roots, spine lengthens. Check in with yourself one more time here. Notice what's changed. Notice completely without judgment, but from a place of curiosity. And genuinely ask yourself how you are. And then draw your palms to meet at your heart center. Take a loving breath into your full body. Inhale. One more sigh. Exhale out of your mouth. Lift your thumbs to your third eye and bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today and for taking the time to do a little check-in with yourself. I think it can be really helpful to just pause and to observe and to notice with curiosity what's going on physically, mentally, and emotionally. I find that when I'm experiencing something intense in any of these spaces, just noticing it can help me to soften into it and kind of take the edge off of what I'm feeling. So I hope that you enjoyed this class. I hope you're doing really well wherever you are. If you're not already, you can subscribe to my channel down below. That really supports me. And I just want to say thank you for all of the lovely, kind, comments and thoughts that you've been sharing lately. I really love to hear from you. So have a great rest of your day or your nights, and I'll see you soon in another class. Bye.